Hi, my name is Pam. I'm one of the technicians here at Animal 911. Today what we're going to be doing uh, is showing you uh, dental cleaning from beginning to the end. Here I have Mrs. Ruby. Ruby is a nine-year-old golden retriever who had her teeth done approximately four years ago. The owners do brush her teeth occasionally and also she's on a dental diet. So, which really helps prevent uh, tartar buildup on the teeth. She does have a stage two dental disease in her mouth, and that's why we are doing her teeth today. So, what we're going to start with is I'm going to have the doctor come in. He's going to do a pre exam on Ruby to make sure everything is okay. We're going to give a sedative to calm her down, put her back in the kennel to relax, and then after that, we're going to show you step by step our process to the dental cleaning because we are aware that anesthesia is a fear for most people, so we want to show you all the precautions that we take to minimize the risks of it. Hi, I'm Dr. Varanowski. So as you met Ruby before, so I'm going to examine, I'm going to show you her teeth as well. You can see that she has tartar and her gums are swollen. She has grade 2 disease, so it's still 100% reversible. We can fix everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an exam, check her lymph nodes, her heart rate, her respiration, make sure that everything's okay. After which we're going to give her a sedative. Okay, we did do a blood test about a month ago. We did a complete CBC and uh, 17 biochemistry parameters and everything was within normal range in preparation of today's anesthesia. We, after the sedative, she'll go back to the kennel for about a half an hour. We're gonna bring her back here. We're gonna put her on an IV. We're gonna induce anesthesia with an induction agent given intravenously. And then she's gonna go to the dentistry room where her teeth will be scaled, cleaned, and polished. And we might take an x-ray or two of one or two teeth that we might find that uh, are questionable. And we'll show you the whole process. During the anesthesia, she's going to be on monitors that are going to be monitoring, monitoring her oxygen in her blood, her heart rate, and her temperature. So here we are back. Ruby is, as you can see, sedated. It's been 30 minutes. We put the IV on. Now I'm going to induce anesthesia. We're going to put her on the IV pump and take her to the dental x-ray room where we'll start the procedure. The reason, like I said, for the fluids intravenously is to maintain optimal body pressure that falls because of anesthesia, but fluids intravenously supplement the, the amount of uh, volume in, in the blood vessels so that, uh, so that the blood pressure doesn't drop. So now we're going to stick, um, put an endotracheal tube, which is basically uh, a tube that's going to go down into her airway so that we can maintain ox oxygen delivery to the lungs and we're going to be in control of her respiration. Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm a registered RVT. Today I'll be performing a dental uh, procedure on Ruby. Ruby first off needs what's called a dental exam to evaluate how the tooth, the teeth are are being, um, how the teeth are being, how, they are. how the teeth are. Excuse me. Uh, from there, I will check if there's any gingival pockets, which is a gum pocket. A gum pocket is usually evidence of something going on deeper inside the root. And then from there, I'll inform Dr. Wibernowski, and he will make the final decision if that tooth needs to be extracted or if any further treatment needs to be done on that tooth. So first off, I'll use uh, a gro an instrument such as this. The instrument's going to remove any of the gross tartar that's accumulated on most of the back premolars and molars. From there, once I've removed the, the gross amount of tartar, I will use my scalar instrument. My scalar instrument is a high power machine and it uses water as well. The water helps cool down the tooth to help uh, make sure that there's no enamel damage and will remove a thin layer of tartar that's built up on most of the teeth. After I've finished off with my scaler, I will use what's called a polisher. A polishing instrument has a little denti, dental cup. The cup helps smooth the surface of the tooth, and we usually use it with an antibacterial treatment. The antibacterial treatment protects the tooth and smooths off any of the damage that I've made with the scaler. Since if, since if I don't use the cup after I've scaled the machine, with the machine, excuse me, there can be damage to the tooth, and the, the, there's more accumulation of bacteria. That's why it's always recommended to do a dental procedure under anesthesia, and it's the most important part of the procedure is to make sure that the teeth have been polished properly. Once I'm done, uh, I will evaluate the mouth again, and I will let Dr. Wibernowski know so he can have come check a look. So we, find that we found a questionable area on her lower incisors, so we're going to take an x-ray, and we're all set up. 
So we're just going to, whoops, I bumped my head. We're just going to walk out of the room for a second. I'll set up the dental screen. Take the x-ray. And take the x-ray. Okay, that's done. And here's our, here's our x-ray, you can look at it right there. Okay, so we can see that there is a little bit of bone loss, but the teeth are very healthy, there's no abscess. We're looking at the six incisors. So I'm going to be just removing uh, the gross uh, tartar buildup on some of those back premolars. And then, like I said before, I'm going to start with the scalar, so I'll just show you a little bit. So we take the base of the tooth. As you see, it can remove a nasty little bit. So right now I'm going to be starting to scale the mouth with the scaling instrument. As you see, it's releasing a small amount of water onto the tooth to cool it off. So I'll start with this little premolar. So the most important part is not to keep your instrument on the tooth for too long. Even though I have water releasing onto it, it's important never to leave it on for more than a good five seconds there. So I'll just rotate between each tooth. And I'll always come back to some of them. So now that I have finished scaling the teeth, I'm now going to be polishing the teeth to again to protect them from any kind of further damage. So polishing works something of like this. And as you see, there's a big difference now. There's also a little bit of staining uh, that unfortunately cannot be removed from years of damage to the tooth. But I will start polishing to protect it now from any other buildup. So this is how we do dentistry at Animal 9 on 1. We scale and polish the teeth to remove the bacteria that can cause infections elsewhere in the body. Of course, after we do all that, you need to do some kind, something at home to try to maintain that, because if you don't, it will come back very quickly. The best is brushing the teeth just like we do with our own teeth, uh, especially for aviated toothpaste that don't contain detergents, or, or you, can use, you can use gels, liquids that you apply to the mouth. You can add something to the drinking water that kills the bacteria that attaches attach to the teeth. You can use chews that are coated with the antibacterial, um, antibacterial elements that will kill bacteria. There are toys that will mechanically help to rub and remove the teeth. Probably the best is brushing, and the second best are specially formulated diets that help to remove the, uh, the tartar from the teeth. A good dental care program is a vital component to your pet's overall health. You will not only increase the quality of his life, you will increase his longevity, and you will get rid of that stinky breath. Thank you.